Hello guys and uh, welcome. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you get here to this site if you just wanna learn the Age of Sigma game or if you get here from one of my channel. But anyway, let's talk a quick walkthrough about uh, how to play the Warhammer Age of Sigma and what the game really is. So this is a picture of the six phases every turn have you basically starting by after deploying your armies uh, which you basically you just pull up all your collections of models on the table you have um, after rolling off of course you have the hero phase which means that your heroes characters and stuff like that can uh, activate abilities and uh, cast spells and stuff like that after your heroes have used their abilities you go over to movement phase and yeah you move your models across the table nothing more special with that then we'll go into shooting phase where you shoot with the range weapon at your enemy Charging phase is basically after you have shoot and move, um, a unit that you have can decide they want to charge an enemy's unit by basically rolling two dice. And if they are in range of your opponent's unit, you just move them in to close combat. After you have charge, you should of course fight. Uh, the pile in is basically just pushes your models forwards towards your um, enemy and uh, you end up in the combat by rolling a bunch of dice and uh, i will go a little bit closer about how you do that when i show you the war scrolls for the unit and um, to show you what um, how to do that and uh, then of course we have the battle shock phase which is um, if a unit have taken casualties after you have um, after this turn you roll a dice add the number of model who died to your bravery value and that's how many models will die after your turn so basically this is a short walkthrough of um, how a game phase goes. Um, you can of course find the rules at the Games Workshop webpage. I will have a link in the description where you can read all the rules. It's only four pages, so it's a quick read and um, it's multiple multiple languages. Um, so you wouldn't have any problem understanding it if you kind of um, like me pretty bad in English. Anyways, let us take a closer look to a war scroll. Well, this here is a war scroll, and you will see that every unit, every hero, every monster, every war machine, and so on have a war scroll. For this example, I want to use Knights Errant, it's a Britannian unit. Um, so, to start with that circle up in the left, you can see in the top you have the move value that's how far you can move in the movement phase you have a wound that's basically how many times you can die you have uh, also bravery that's the one you take in battle shock and you have save and uh, if you take a if your opponent managed to wound you you can roll a save and if you pass it then you succeed and doesn't take a wound you also have um, in the long gray line you see it says melee weapon and that's mean the knight serent can only fight in combat uh, otherwise it would have said range weapon so we can only use his lens in uh, in the combat phase and you can see range and that's basically how far my knights can reach so my knights can attack any models that is within two inches from him and uh, attack is how many dice you take for that model to hit i need to roll a 
four up four better to hit your opponent then with all your hits you roll to wound and uh, four or better to wound and that's how you cause a wound in combat and also in shooting uh, rend it says um, basically if you have some abilities it can set minus one rend which uh, if i have a four up it's decreased to a five up for example if i have rend minus one and damage is how many wounds each of uh, my attacks takes here it says one so it's pretty simple but say i have damage two and i do three wounds that mean uh, my opponent takes six wounds basically and then we go down to the text we have description here you can see how many models i need to for this unit and it says five errant knights or more and then i have some special abilities the cavalier is a champion we have one more attack than a normal knight a banner and a triumpher they have some special abilities um, but they are basically if you play warhammer 8 edition your command group if you haven't played Warhammer, it's a guy with a standard, a guy with an instrument, and a guy who is a mini hero. Then I have some abilities which are basically special rules that is for this unit. And then we have the keyword uh, in the bottom. And here you can see I'm in order, so I'm a good guy. Uh, free people, uh, nobility, knights errant. So nothing special here. Um, it also says human um, so basically here you can see if it says monster or if it says free people or if it says hero or so on so this war scroll will basically give some information for example if you have a spell that target only humans you know that these knights will be targeted by that spell so I hope this uh, video um, have turned your interest up for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Um, if you have the opportunity, go down to one of your local games workshop. If you have any fun, clothes or your gaming store or whatever, and check out some model. Ask if you can try to play it or something like that, and they will hopefully gladly help you. Uh, and that's it for um, this short um, introduction. I hope you have learned something. Of course, it's now a big long video. If you want to know the rules, read it. It's as I already told, only four pages, so it will not take too long to read it all and just start playing. A recommendation is um, start playing, playing few models, um, two or three units and a hero. That's enough. This starter set is um, very good. Uh, start to start with uh, but otherwise just yes, look for whatever model you think is cool paint them up build them and then put them on the battlefield don't have to worry about uh, fraction and stuff like that so just take what you think is cool and start playing well done if you like feel free to add any questions below and I will answer them as fast as I possibly can like and subscribe to my channel have a nice one